Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel, Jennifer Marie Vio, where I teach you different ways that you can make money online working from home. In my last video, I talked about how I have made over $11,000 selling printables in my Etsy shop. These are printables or digital downloads and you only have to make them once. And once you list them onto your Etsy shop, you can sell as many of them as you want. So for most of my digital downloads, I sell them for $5 each. And nearly every day I am making money selling these worksheets without having to do anything. One day last week, I made over $25 in one day from worksheets that I created back in 2016. The response to my last video has been really positive. So I set up a poll on my channel asking you what kinds of videos you want me to make related to creating printables on Etsy. And the majority of voters wanted me to teach you how exactly you can create a digital printable that you can go ahead and sell on Etsy. And if you remember in my last video, I talked about all sorts of different niches that are really popular on Etsy, including calendars, agendas, and digital planners. And I even showed you an example of a shop that is selling really beautiful but very simple calendars for 2021. And this particular shop has over 80,000 sales. So in today's video, I'm going to show you exactly how to create your own digital printable that you can go ahead and sell on Etsy. In today's tutorial, we're going to create the printable using Microsoft Word. Microsoft Word is a program that most people have. You don't need to have the latest version to create this printable. And let's say, for example, you don't have a copy of Microsoft Word. Well, go and ask a friend or your family member or someone if you can borrow their computer for an hour while you create some of these printables. Or maybe you can go to a library or an internet cafe and use Microsoft Word on that computer to create these printables. You don't have to use Microsoft Word, you can use any other sort of graphic design software, but in this particular tutorial, I'm going to show you how to create a printable using Microsoft Word. In future tutorials, I'll show you how to create printables using Canva and other types of graphic design software. And not only am I going to walk you through step-by-step -step how to create a printable and how to save it as a PDF, I'm also going to show you two different websites where you can get royalty-free images that you are allowed to download, use in your printables, and resell them. I'm also going to show you a really cool website to download beautiful royalty-free fonts so that you can use special fonts in your printables that are not typically available in Microsoft Word. And that way your printables will really stand out. And if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel where I show you all sorts of different ways that you can make money online. So let's get started. Okay, everybody, let's get in how to create your own digital printables that you can sell on shops like Etsy. I also want to make a point that you don't only have to sell these kinds of services on Etsy. There are all sorts of other different platforms where you can sell printables and you could also advertise this as a gig if you're working on Upwork or on Fiverr. Some people maybe already have a really nice Etsy shop and they don't want to spend time creating printables. You could say to them, listen, I'll create five different printables for you for this much money. And then that person can put those printables on their already successful shop and probably make a lot of money off of those printables. So you could sell your services as a printable creator on freelancing websites or try your own luck by setting up your own shop on Etsy. So in today's tutorial, I'm going to show you how to make a beautiful calendar that you can sell on Etsy. And this is going to be very similar to the shop that I showed you in my first tutorial you can click on the link in the description below to see what shop I'm talking about where she creates beautiful printables and it's a bestseller for a calendar for 2021. And I'm going to show you how you can easily do that within Microsoft Word. So open up Word and at the top you're going to go File, New, and here you can search for online templates. So you can use any of these templates to create printables if you want to make an agenda or anything else. I'm going to type in Calendar click on the search icon and you've got all these different templates that you can go ahead and use. And I'm going to click on this one right here. Now the great thing about this is that it will automatically update everything so it will be accurate to the year. So you don't have to go in and change all the numbers and days yourself. It will be accurate according to the year you're designing for. I'm going to click create. Now you'll select the month and year to create a calendar. So Obviously, I'm going to click March 2021, click OK. And then it says to show different dates, go to the calendar tab and choose select new dates. But I'm just going to show you this example for March 2021. We're going to click OK. All right. And so right now we have this calendar. Now, obviously, by itself, it's 
kind of ugly. We want to make this more beautiful. Over the side here, you can adjust the color to whatever color scheme that you think looks beautiful. I'm going to choose this one, for example. You could also go here, go to customize colors and change exactly the colors for the whole calendar. I'm just going to leave it as it is right now. Now at the top here, we can highlight this, go over to home and we can change the font to any font that we want here. But let's say I don't really like any of these fonts. I don't think they're very beautiful. I want something really special. What we're going to do is I'm going to show you a royalty free website where you can download any of the fonts and use them in your printable PDFs. The website is called fontspace.com. You can use these fonts for commercial projects. That's right, zero license fees. Enjoy the world's largest collection of commercial use fonts here at Fontspace. So you can scroll down. There's all sorts of really cool ones, you know, Harry Potter, all sorts of stuff. You can go into related font styles. There's calligraphy, there's cursive. I'm going to click cursive. And you can see all these beautiful different fonts that you can use. So when you find a font that you like, just click on this download icon right here. So this one is lovely coffee font. I'm going to click on the zip file and then to download the file, you just have to double click on the font, the .ttf file. Then it will pop up this and you can click install and it will automatically install the font to where it has to be on your computer so you can use it in Microsoft Word. Now from this website, I already downloaded one I liked called Lovely Home. So let's go back to our printable here and I'm going to highlight the font here. So this is the Lovely Coffee font we just downloaded and this one here is the Lovely Home font. But what I want to do instead of replacing this font right here because they have it set so it's automatically capital letters and I can't change it and I don't want it to be in capital letters. I'm going to go ahead and erase this font and then I'm going to, I want to move this down a bit. So I'm going to just drag this a little bit down and don't worry about this extra bar here. Just keep dragging this down a little bit. You can actually go view and then zoom it to 75% so we can see a bit better. And I'm actually going to erase this line here because I want to put a quote here later. So I've just erased that. And I'm going to bring this down just a little bit. Okay, just by clicking and dragging. Now what I want to do is insert a text box. And then click just on simple text box. We will erase the border later. I like to do this because you have a bit more control over your font. Put March 20. 21. I'm going to highlight it, go back to home and you can increase the font and then I'm going to go to lovely home, my new font that I downloaded because I think this is really a beautiful font. Okay. Now I want to get rid of this black border. So I'm going to click on the box. Once again, right click, go format shape, go to line, and choose no line. You can also go to fill and choose no fill because right now it does have a white fill and if we want to put um, a graphic background later, it's better if it's no fill. And I'm gonna move this to the side a little bit because I want to add in a pretty flower design over here. Okay, so the next thing we're going to do is find a pretty graphic that we're going to use. We're going to use Pixabay. Pixabay has stunning free images and royalty free stock and you can use these in your designs and sell these designs without any issues. I'm going to type in flower. Now these ones at the top are all sponsored images with iStock. So just scroll down and these are the ones that are free. There are so many different ones. I like this one right here. Let's click on this, the hand painted watercolor and this one is free for commercial use as you can see. So you just click free download and you can download whatever size you want. We don't need it to be too big. Then click download. Just make sure you click that you're not a robot. Click download. Okay, so now we're ready to import this into Microsoft Word to use in our calendar. What we're going to do is go to insert, pictures, click this device and locate the file that we just downloaded 
Okay, and now it'll pop up like this and this might freak you out a bit because your calendar has now disappeared down here. But don't worry, we're going to right click on this image, go to wrap text and choose behind text. And now what we're going to do is I want this, I'm gonna drag on these corners here to resize it and then you'll see this rotate arrow and we're going to rotate it so it's like this and then bring it up a little bit. And you can actually go over here under artistic effects and you can even play around with different effects um, to make it you know a little bit more stylish or a little bit more to your liking there. And then I'm going to move this a little bit as well. Okay so this is looking pretty good. I'm going to move this down a little bit. Okay now let's say I don't want this pink color. I want it to match this here. I want it to be red. To quickly change the color instead of going back in and customizing it I'm just going to highlight all the pink. Click here and then I'm going to go more colors and I'm just going to choose you know a nice red that seems to match. This is a nice red here. Click OK. And now I'll do that for all of these different little ones right here. Highlight that. Again go to recent colors so it all matches and then here as well. Okay and now it all matches. Here you can put in any sort of special date. So for example, March 8th was International Women's Day. So you could put International Women's Day, you know, or you could just leave the calendar blank. So the person who buys the calendar can fill in it as they wish as well. Okay, so the last thing I want to do to customize this calendar and make it special is to add a quote at the bottom. So we're again, we're going to go insert text box simple text box. I'm going to drag it down to the bottom and we want this line to pop up again so we're going to right click on the text box, wrap text, we're going to go in front of text or behind text and that way it's all on the same page. Stretch this out a bit, go down here and then you can copy whatever quote you want. Um, I'm going to use a special women's day sort of quote because of March. So this quote here, where there is a woman, there is magic. So let's say I'm going to highlight that again and make it match the font that we used before. We're going to click here to increase. You can change the color as well if you want. Center it. And then we want to erase the box again. So we'll go shape options and we'll click no line. So now it's erased the line. Okay, so just like that, we have a really beautiful calendar that you can go ahead and save as a PDF and sell this on Etsy. And if you wanted to change this to another month and add a different design for, for another month, click on calendar, click select new dates, and then you can go ahead April 2021, for example. And you can see that's just changed everything to April. And then all you would have to do is go up here and put April 2021. And it's just that simple. Just make sure you save the previous file as a PDF. So to do that, we'll go File, Save As, and then choose wherever you want to save it. And under Save As Type, PDF, we can put April 2021 Calendar save. And just like that, you have a really beautiful calendar that you can go ahead and sell on Etsy. You could make a different design with a different quote for every single month, maybe having something targeted towards children or teachers or weddings or spring or make a theme or something so you can even be more specific and try to attract a really specific audience. I hope this tutorial helped you out and inspired you a little to see how easy it is to create printables that you can sell on Etsy. If you have any other questions for me about selling on Etsy, about what sorts of printables you can design, or if you want me to create a tutorial showing you how to create any other sort of printable, just let me know in the comment section of this video. Once again, if you haven't already, make sure to subscribe to my channel, click like on this video if this helped you out, and I will see you all in my next video.